So yeah, it is Christmas, the best time of the year for some and the best time to study for others. You might think I'm going crazy, like who studies during Christmas? Like, like who actually studies during Christmas? No one, except for those people that have exams on January. Uh, the rest, uh, almost no one actually seriously studies on Christmas. I have personally only seriously studied once during Christmas and that was like two years ago. And I did so because I knew that if I didn't study during Christmas, I would almost for sure uh, fail my history IGCC mock. I ended up uh, passing with a C, I think, in the mock. Tough times, but I was able to get the A in the final exam. Uh, so in the end, you know, happy ending. Anyways, this Christmas I want to get some progress done into my A-level subjects. And when I say I want, I actually mean I need, uh, because I do, uh, apart from maths, chemistry and physics, I also take further maths. So, you know, if I don't study on Christmas, uh, I just won't even pass. So. So it is not an option for me not to study during Christmas uh, as it is my last year of school uh, and I want to do well, you know, to hopefully get good grades and get into whichever uni I want to attend next year. Okay, for those new to the channel, hi, my name is Mario and I am a 17 year old international A-level student from Spain. So this video is going to be divided into three different parts. How much did I study during my year 11 IGCC and year 12 AES? And how much am I planning to study during these Christmas holidays as a year 13 student? Then I will talk to you about how do I study, uh, in this case during the Christmas holidays. What do I do in order to make my studying as efficient as possible? And then I will finally give you some tips that make, uh, at least for myself, uh, quite the difference when studying during Christmas and that helped me in being more efficient at the same time that I have the most fun possible. So let's start by how much do I actually study. As I told you up to this date I have only truly studied once uh, during Christmas and that was during year 11. For my IGCSE mocks that I had on January I had 10 GCSE subjects and although I was good at some of them I wasn't particularly good at others. Therefore, Christmas revision was not only helpful in staying on top of my subjects, but it was also the best long-term decision that I could have made uh, because these mocks went really well for me and due to the sudden pandemic that ended up taking place and that is still taking place, these mocks ended up counting quite a lot towards my final grade. Uh, so therefore, it was a really good decision to study uh, for my mocks and actually do well and take them seriously. In year 12, last year, I really didn't study uh, as such. During the winter break, I did do some homework that I had been assigned and I also did some past papers, but I wasn't too strict with myself because I didn't have any rush. My mocks were on March for my A-levels. I have mocks in March, uh, same as this year. So therefore, I had two months to prepare for those mocks. So I didn't really uh, take Christmas break as seriously as I could have done the previous year when I had my IGCSE mocks on January. So this year for year 13A2, my Christmas holiday studying is aimed at the whole new level. I need to do so much. Uh, and when I say so much, I am not lying. Here you have the to-do list that I made for myself uh, for this winter break. I already take for granted that I won't uh, accomplish all of my tasks. I like to think of it such that I do as much as I can. Uh, and that it's not that I am losing for not reaching my goals. It is about doing as much useful uh, work as you can possibly do. So that when you come back to school after the holidays, you feel in a good academic shape so that not much effort is required to go back to your uh, normal rhythm after Christmas holidays. Now let's go to part two of the video. How do I actually study during the Christmas holidays? Do I follow any specific technique or uh, schedule? The first thing that I recommend doing uh, once you start your winter break is uh, making a to-do list with all of the tasks that you could imagine uh, you could do. Imagine you had all the time in the world and write every single thing that you could do to become better at your subjects. For example, I did this myself and you know, it is quite a long list uh, to be honest and I won't do all of them for sure, but I can have an idea of what can I do if I feel like I don't have anything to do. I can see the to-do list and say, okay, I can maybe do this because maybe I prefer doing this instead of this right now. It is a way to make sure that you have a specific tasks that you have to attempt. Uh, during this time. Secondly, try to distribute all the tasks that you have 
come up with uh, in the first step and uh, just distribute them throughout your days uh, of holidays. I personally use Google Calendar for this uh, so that I can have it in my laptop, I can have it in my phone, I can have it uh, in my iPad and I can see at all times uh, when should I be doing something uh, so that I can be reminded of that. But please uh, try to be realistic because uh, things will come up. Uh, it is the winter holidays and you know, there's lots of stuff going on. And you also want to take some time off, which is what you should do during the holidays. So you don't want to feel burned out. Uh, it is better to do little work uh, and be able to come back to school feeling refreshed, overworking yourself too hard and uh, ruining your holidays uh, and coming back feeling shattered. Thirdly, I try to keep a bedtime schedule, which is similar to uh, my normal one. Uh, usually I go to bed at around 11 and wake up at 7 a.m. something like that 6 55 a.m. And now what I do is very similar. Uh, I try to sleep a bit more. Maybe I go uh, at around 11 or 12 and wake up at 8 uh, so that I can get started with the day and tackle some tasks. I am a morning person so this works for me uh, but you know uh, if you prefer to study during the afternoons or the evenings, it is completely all right. Uh, whichever schedule works for you is the best. You just want to make sure that you get sufficient time into your subjects, into your work, so that you can actually get some progress done. And uh, yeah, and that's, it doesn't really matter uh, when you do that or how long are your study sessions. So it doesn't really matter if you do it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Uh, if you take uh, very short sessions or you do very long ones, whichever thing works for you is the correct one. Just trying to make sure that you get sufficient time into it and that you feel satisfied with your work. Now, my mindset during winter break is that I first need to uh, sort my things out to organize all my subjects uh, to be able to then uh, study intensely on them. For example, these holidays, I am planning to first uh, make sure that I have all my flashcards uh, for chemistry in Anki. And once I have them all, I will get to revise them uh, and I also get to do some past papers. But first, I want to make sure that I have everything inside my system so that I can get started. Uh, in the end, organization is the pillar of studying. If you don't have any organization, uh, you're just going to miss out on the real studying. Uh, it's just going to fall apart. I try to think that academic breaks are meant for sorting things out and refining your knowledge. So right now I'm going to give you some tips that come in really handy when getting some work done during the Christmas holidays. When it comes to getting into study mode during Christmas, there is way more friction than normally. You may not have very close deadlines or you might just easily procrastinate on them because there's loads of uh, friends slash family events during these Christmas breaks. I'm obviously not saying that you shouldn't spend time with your family and friends, uh, don't get me wrong, but you do need to make sure that you allocate sufficient time to your studying. Um, you know, that may involve saying no to a few, hanging out with friends or uh, with family, but obviously don't say no when things are really important, like family comes first obviously and friends are part of the family as well. It is about being effective during your study time uh, so that you can then have lots of free time to spend with your friends, family or yes, go and play video games, uh, go watch Netflix, whatever you want. Anyways, there are many different ways to reduce this friction uh, that takes place during the winter break. Personally, having a nice space for you to uh, do your academic tasks uh, in which you only do that uh, so that you can, you know, when you go to that room, you know that you're gonna work, you're not gonna do anything else. It is a very easy way to make studying uh, more interesting if you have a nice place to study uh, that makes you feel comfortable and, you know, yes, in the mood. Then having a Christmas Mac also helps, uh, I don't know, it just makes everything more interesting. This is a very cool Mac because once you put something hot in here, uh, it starts to get colored um, in red. I got some footage from it, but I don't know if you could see really well. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool Mac. So it is a way to make myself uh, feel a bit better uh, and you know, just more comfortable within my studying space. You may be stuck on a question or doing uh, an essay, uh, but you can look at the Mac and remind yourself that it's Christmas, everything is beautiful, and you get reminded that there is always hope and that miracles are possible. Um, well, maybe not, it, it depends, you have to study. I also have a Justin Bieber under the mistletoe CD. Um, don't ask me why. Um, good vibes. Best Christmas album ever. Another way to mentally prepare yourself to study uh, every single day 
uh, it is by wearing uh, nice clothes. Clothes that uh, make you feel as if you were going to school on a normal day. Don't study on your pajamas because it will make you feel way more sleepy and you will suffer more procrastination. Try to wear stuff that makes you feel uh, like you're doing something serious. Uh, this is not, not very serious, but you know, I had to film this video. Um, and then, you know, just something that feels comfortable. And then the Pomodoro method is always a classic when you want to get into studying and you don't know how to get with it. Uh, because you just feel like I can not enough to do it. You can set up a 25 minute timer and just get on with your work um, and then stop. And if you don't want to do any more, like just stop. Um, but it is a very good way to get started for yourself to do those 25 minutes. Uh, and then most times you will want to continue uh, doing what you're doing because it's like, okay, I am in the flow right now and I want to get more stuff done. So that is a very helpful technique, the Pomodoro method, Pomodoro technique, however you want to call it. You will also not feel overwhelmed because it is just like 25 minute sessions and then you can have breaks in between. Uh, so you can just feel uh, you're doing stuff, but also you're not forcing yourself too much. And one more way to uh, encourage yourself to work during the winter break is by rewarding yourself. If you complete your uh, study sessions for the day, uh, go and have fun and it will make uh, studying uh, feel better and you will also feel better. And the best thing is that you will get to enjoy it uh, a lot because you won't feel guilty uh, for not studying because you have already done your work. So if you like the Christmas vibes from this video, stay tuned because I will be soon uploading a real time study with me. Uh, for Christmas and hopefully that makes your study sessions more dynamic and interesting having me by your side uh, working as well so uh, stay tuned for that one I also really appreciate if you could leave a thumbs up this is by far the most that I have worked on a video uh, ever uh, I have been recording for two days maybe I have been filming for a total of six hours uh, I will be editing a long time can feature Mario confirm this uh, okay yeah, I expected that. I'm working on many things right now, so uh, just stay tuned. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I am very thankful for all of you guys uh, for your uh, support. Uh, this year has been amazing for me. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. But yeah, as I always like to say, we're just getting started. There's so much ahead. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.